Hey everybody, it's JJM Jim. Welcome back to another episode of The Marooned here in Rimworlds on our Atoll Island. And uh, we just had another revenge deal. So, yeah. Just gonna have to deal with that real quick here. We stunned it. Can we just shoot it though and kill it? Apparently, we have no hunting skills. Uh, okay, we just got tree sowing. That's fantastic. Look at this. 30 seconds in the episode. Um, <clears throat> let's do... Well, we need... We certainly need power. Um, we certainly need power. I also want to do the bridges. Oh, let's just, yeah, okay. We'll just, we'll, we, we should get batteries. I, I, there's not a lot of material. Like that's the thing, you know, or the water mill generator. That's what I was talking about. It is a water mill. Okay. Uh, I think we'll do the batteries. Let's, we should just get some of this stuff researched. The tree sowing was the big one because now we can tree. sow. we can sow trees. Um, we can sow the palms. There we go. Allow sowing. Perfect. Okay, have they killed this thing yet? Okay, it's down. You took a bunch of hits again, because you suck. Finish that off. Alright, but yes, let's get growing here. Um, I'm a little concerned about it being so far away from our base. But, I don't know. It's going to take Nivia a long time to do this, too. Unfortunately, she's the only one doing it right now. We are trying to get green, of course. But, um, can someone go tend to Sinago? Thank you. Nivia's kind of, like, doing everything. Which makes sense for the story as well. She's kind of the one who's responsible for everything here. We should watch out with these, though. Oh, there is fire over here. <gasps> okay, but it's on the sand, right? Is it gonna really catch? Or just burn out? Okay, that just burns out. See, yeah, because that's the benefit of being on the sand. Okay, but yeah, we should keep an eye on that, though. Yeah, lots of sewing to be done. There are others who have it as a two. Trinity and Erasmus should be doing it, but they are also cooking, and that is their first priority. <clears throat> so I get it. It's not oh, caught a bass. Ooh. I, and I have to say, I mean, Snago, his first important thing that he should be doing is is the hunting, which does just take a while, I guess. Although there is less stuff on the map now. Two Cobras, though. This thunderstorm is still raging. Hmm. It just takes a long time to sow trees. Ah, hi, fla, fla. Yeah, go, 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 go. That stuff is flammable. Okay, that's enough, Dry Thunderstorm. It's enough. Stop. Stop attacking us. Palm tree has died from being... What? Oh! Wait, are these, like, straight up dying? Because they're over a place where they should be getting harvested? Question mark? Not real sure. It's strange, though. A little strange to me. Okay. Do we? 
gonna have them make another short bow. Make a chocolate cigar. Oh my. Oh my. We have to build them like a library and stuff, but we'll, we'll do all that on the on the ocean. We're gonna have to pre-plan a lot of stuff for that, <clears throat> like where you know where they'll start living and. Start maybe doing some of that, I suppose, while they're getting all this stuff squared away here. They're trying to get green to stay with us. Her mood is getting better, it is getting quicker. It's just a very big space. So I'm thinking that, like, something. Like, do we do three wide? Hmm. Or is it just too wide? I think it's probably just too wide. But, you know, something all the way across. Then we can have just like a pier out here where fishing docks and places to look out on. But then... Hmm. Because we need like our defensive wall, basically. And I don't want to be... I don't want to be too close to the water. I want the water, I want almost this to, to, to be like a moat. You know? It's kind of what I'm, I like to use this as. So we have enough distance from the, oh, the, but obviously we're gonna have to have, you know, our, like, actually, hmm. obviously, you know, we're gonna uh, have to have connections to the mainland, of course, but. I think it's kind of cool that we can I don't know I, I I don't want it to be like I want the outside area and that to be sort of a little just random feeling like kind of what we're doing here and then but then we dictate what the, oh my gosh look at that that just perfectly lined up so sort of something like that shape, the very, very outside, and then that will dictate on the inside where things are, are built. So my thought is, you know, the giant pier out to here. You know, maybe there's a pier on either side, and then the rest of these areas are just, you know, I don't know, we do like a, like a walkway down. And then I don't know. Something like you should have it, you know, probably we should maybe have four entrances, right? So there's the north entrance where you can exit to the land right there. And then the south entrance would be basically like that. So maybe this just goes all the way across. And then the rest of them sort of, you know, go to the different huts. Are you guys able to, you guys picking up what I'm throwing down here at all? I don't know. This is very new, obviously. But I'm thinking, so these are all like main walkways and then there's just rooms and things off of them. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to play around. Because what I'm thinking is, so you have the main walkway, but then, you know, on either side, there's like a four or five, you know, you have wall, and there's like, so basically what I'm saying is, so there's the main walkway, but then there'd be a room here. There'd be rooms basically all along this. You know? I'm just kind of putting down the walkway for now, just to kind of show where we might have our 
have people walking f to and from because you want to make it efficient too. We don't want it to. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll have to do some thinking on that. <clears throat> Definitely have to do some thinking, but I, I do like that. Uh, sort of have our four entrances to from the water. I think that's very nifty. And then this is our outer wall. And we'll probably have a walkway on either side, or a, a, you know, a walkway on either side, and that will have you know entrances to the wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Like that. Or you know, maybe this goes down even further. Like to there. Get rid of this. Can we get rid of this? And then this goes like down. So one, two. There's two on each side type of a thing. Maybe that goes in one more. Like that. Or maybe we can, you know, do that. Or no. No, no, no. Yeah, like that. So we just have different areas that we can hit, you know, have have people run to when stuff goes down. Speaking of stuff going down, there's another raid. Tribes people coming from this side. Okay, so Varia is coming from this side, basically where that dock is. I just want to take a mental note of where they are attacking from because this is such a weird map. Okay, so this was a bigger raid and we weren't out on our little safe zone out here this would be kind of probably pretty nasty because they're very close and again did i check to see if she was going <gasps> it's a goat no it's yes a goat human a beautiful cannibal can't dumb labor good fighting good mining which is useless to us uh Unless I guess, oh, okay, we also could travel to other areas. Well, not really, because we're on an island. So, what am I talking about? Good cook and plant work. And she's a goat, or a ibex doe, or a ram, or something. Okay, so she has a knife. We should try to go get her. Let's go get Berea. I always send her back. To, I think she actually is going to wander. But here, you guys stand back there. Stand behind the, the, the ladies with the stabbies. There we go. Ooh, it sounds like she's a goat too when she goes down. Okay, good hits. Good hits, gentlemen. Okay, so we downed her. Um, <clears throat> she's a cannibal too. I don't know if... Do we want the goat person? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not discriminating because she's goat. Just from the... I don't know if we want to take another person. Dumb labor is kind of important, although the cooking passion is really good, and so is the plant work. Where are you from? The Trotto of the Cave. Trotto of the Cave. Trotto of the Cave. 23 hostile. Okay, so we could change these people to be gentle to us. They are the antelope tribe she's an antelope excuse me um 
Oh, she's actually is naked, but because she's an antelope person, I see. Um, from the perspective of this story, if I saw an antelope person coming at me, I don't know if I would save them. Right? Like, these, these guys have never seen this before. They're just trying to, to stay alive. So I think what we'll do is we'll capture her. We'll be good. Let's capture her. And then we'll send her back to her tribe. So I don't think they would want this person to stay with them. But let's not let her die because we can get some good will from her. Right? But nice work, everybody. Very nice work. Nivea is still doing the tree stuff. It's going to take her forever. Oh, no. Oh, once we get this growing, once you know we can get a harvest of this food, uh, I'm going to, I think, turn off... Uh, fishing, basically. Because, or maybe get rid of some of the traps. It's just, <clears throat> takes so much time. I'd rather have a Nivea, you know, researching. <clears throat> Easy to actually recruit. But I think we're just going to release her back to her tribe. You're down to 18. Perfect. Can you clean in here while our little antelope friend gets healed? I mean, should we take her? It's funny that she's a cannibal. So because she's an antelope, if she eats humans... Is that, do you see what I'm going, where I'm going with this? Or does she need to eat antelopes? It's a little confusing. It's a little, I'm just, you know, I'm just asking the questions, right? Just asking the questions. Uh, I don't know the answer to it, but I just don't know what to do. She doesn't have bad traits. She can only not dumb labor, but she would basically just do a lot of plant work and cook. You know what? Who am I to, to say things? Let's recruit her. Why not? Why not? We need to, we need to grow our community here. We need to grow this community. I think we can do it. We have a good person with social. We have the means to do it. We can feed them. Why not? Let's get some uh, antelopes going on in here. You know, we're bridging. We're bridging the the crossing the the paths of things. Even though I don't know if they would want to have an antelope person, but let's let's try to be an inclusive community. Okay, we don't want to. We don't want to necessarily discriminate, but there's going to be some badass, mean, antelope or goat, you know, pig people or something that are going to come and, and attack us, and we're just going to have to hate them because they hate us. And that's just the way it's going to be, right? That's just life. Sometimes a pig will hate you, and there's nothing you can do about it. You know? Pigs will be pigs, as they say. Sanago is actually researching. Well, that's a sight to see. It means you have nothing to haul. Huh. I mean, I'll take it. We need those batteries. Though, realistically, we just need to make some money to get some steel. It's going to be a little bit of a... It's going to be a little bit of an issue, I think. And where are you going, by the way? I need to recruit green. Okay. I mean, I think of anything that we need to spend our resources on, our steel resources. I think it's going to be a cooler. Not for our people. We can, we can, we can do the passive cooler thing. That's going to be fine. But I, I do think that we're going to need to. Yeah, because stuff's rotting already. So, so we have thirty in each of these. So three of these would be... Okay. 
you eating? Are you eating our trees? Let's deconstruct those and that one. And then I think we should make ourselves a cooler, probably. I think we'll be able to put one in here. That's the little annoying part about these log walls. While I do really like how they look, it's a little annoying because I can't really put the... I can't put things in them. I have to destroy the wall to then put the, the, the vent in or whatever. This isn't the worst thing in the world. It's just a little bit of a pain in the ass. Although, is one cooler going to even do it? I may need to have a separate stockpile where other things are kept. Like resources. And then we make a smaller cooler for, like, meats. Because realistically, potatoes last a long time and, you know, or, you know, generally long enough that we'll probably cook them up before we have them sitting around. Hmm. I want to make another short pro, actually. So what I could do is I could reinstall this. we could build ourselves a party well is that nice this could just be a little um, insulated section Insulated section where we just have a little stockpile for meat. And then the cooler goes there. And then deconstruct that. And then we have a door going there. Okay, so who's throwing the party? Trinity's throwing the party. Of course she is. She is. Such a socialite. So everyone get to the party, please. Sorry, Green. You haven't joined us yet. Someday, though. Uh, okay, guys, the party is going well. This is really nice, but some at some point we're going to have to deal with the Mad Cobra. Okay? And the Mad Cobra is slaughtering monkeys up. See, this is why we can't have predators in this map. They're killing all the monkeys. Where is it? It's right here. Ooh, it sounds very scary, actually. Okay, hurry up with your party, though, okay? It's probably gonna go bash on the doors of our prisoner rooms, actually. I want them to finish the party, though, to get the boost. Oh, nope, it's gonna come down to us. Wait, did we get you an octopus? No, it's a crayfish. Oh, okay, everybody easy. The Cobras can be really nasty. Get your socials in. Ooh, that is a horrifying sound coming from a Cobra. So, why don't, uh, Trinity. Trinity. Where? Stand there. Stand there. Okay. Wait. Come back. There we go. There we go. Can you shoot it from there? Kill it. Nicely done. Okay, good. No one got hurt. That's fantastic. Never hurts to be too safe. There we go. And that's a little bit of meat we can eat as well. 
And they got to the party, although Nivea is not in a good mood. What's, what's the matter with you? Ravenously hungry. Slept in the heat. Darkness. Awful barrack. Yeah, yeah, that's right, though. Visitors have arrived. We have no guest beds, and it's hot as hell. Okay, well, I could refuse them until I have guest beds. Are they ha do they have things to trade? I don't know if this is a good idea or not. You have nothing to trade. You're an elephant. You're an elephant person. You're like Babar. Babar is here. You guys remember Babar? Man, I love those books when I was a kid. Wow. Sanguine Undergrounder. Can't care though. What is with the not caring trait? It's a little, uh, a little upsetting. A little distress. A little distressed to see that. Well, hello, Babar. God, it's like, he's even, like, little hat. Little hat he has. And what he's wearing. It's very Babar-like. Well, sorry, we have no... Here, you know what? Here, there's a guest bed for you. Look at that, Babar. That's awesome. Okay, Nivea's up. She's gonna go on right to work. Takes so long to sow trees, even with her skill, which, you know, is a 12. Oh, ugh, ugh, ugh. But it needs to be done. And that's why we're working on getting a couple more people here. Both of them have good plant work, so, or at least a passion for it, which would be helpful. Just take off some of the things here. Look at this. It is so Babar. Or it's a woman, but uh, I don't remember what Babar's sister was named. Boy, it's been a long time. I love it. Actually, we should. I would love it. I would love it if v Varia was an elephant. It would be really fun to recruit an elephant. They'd make such a cranky noise when they get hit, like in a battle. You know, with their trunk. Need recreation variety. Oh my. Getting bored, huh? Getting bored. Well, we can only make it out of wood. Uh, okay. Actually, I deacons work that. Let's just put... Let me put that there. Uh, make it at least normal quality. <clears throat> it's probably worth the wood. We need to keep people happy. Alright, so we've got rid of that. But yeah, let's do that. Gonna deconstruct that shellfish trap. Snago's gonna finish this. Perf. It's a good one. Uh, for now, I guess we're just gonna have people stand to to do it. I don't know. So much butchering. It's not enough is getting done. Oh no. Sinago has malaria. Oh no. Uh. Um it's no longer okay. Uh this is gonna be a prison room. Uh, Nivia, could you... Now to send a warning. Um, Erasmus. Could you take Varia to bed, please? <clears throat> Sanago, I need you to rest there. And we'll see what Anivia can do without... Without meds. May just need to rest for a while. We may also need to have meds for your next tend. Yeah. I really don't want you to die. Oh, 
man, he might be able to pass it, but I think for the next round we're going to have to give him medicine. Oh, boy. Well, everybody, that is going to do it for this episode. Another thrilling one. We met Babar. We got an antelope friend. It's very, very exciting stuff. Everybody, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time in the Marooned here in RimWorld. Bye, everybody.